investors, and welcome to Stocks to Watch. Today, we have a very special conversation with two visionary leaders. Shahab Samimi, CEO of Humanoid Global Holdings Corp., is here. They're listed on the Canadian Securities Exchange as Robo, the OTC in Canada as RBOHF, and the Frankfurt Exchange as 0XM1. Humanoid Global is the very first company of its kind to focus on investing directly in the robotics industry. And today we're also joined by Dr. Shivo Sharail Nandakumar, CEO of RideScan. This is the company behind a groundbreaking robotic safety platform and notably the very first strategic software investment by Humanoid Global. With both leaders here together with me today, we're gonna to dive into the Humanoid Global's investment vision, the story behind RideScan, and what this partnership really means for the future of robotics. So I'd like to welcome both of you to Stocks to Watch. Thank you. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Yes. So, Shahab, I will start with you. Humanoid Global, as I said, is the first company of its kind to focus on investing in the robotics industry. So for those who may not be familiar with your company, maybe you could tell us more about it, its vision, mission, and why you really believe there's such a massive investment opportunity right now. Absolutely. So Humanoid Global is among the first of its kind, dedicated exclusively to the humanoid robotics, physical AI, and embodied AI sector. We're deploying long-term capital across the value chain from hardware to software to enabling technologies. Um, this could also be sensors, actuators, materials. So uh, we're building a diversified portfolio, uh, ultimately, in this frontier emerging industry. And we really, our vision is to empower investors to have direct exposure uh, to this transformative growth within the humanoid robotics sector. Um, as we see global challenges within labor shortages, labor costs, aging population, and more importantly, rapid development of artificial intelligence. Yeah, and I really like how you use the word transformative, Shahab, because you and I sat down recently and we talked about all of the innovative work that you're doing and how it's like the first of a kind in this space. So I think that's a that's a really good way to describe it. Um, so, so Dr. Ananda Kumar, I'd like to ask you, uh, the company, uh, Humanoid Global, really announced its first strategic software investment in your company, RideScan. And so this is a platform focused on robotic safety. So what would you say this platform does to really achieve its safety goals and who is it designed for specifically? Yeah, thank you. So RightScan is like a independent monitoring platform. So it consistently looks at the behavior of the robot doing the tasks and ensure it is reliable and safe when it is deployed in the public spaces. And this is mainly focused for the manufacturers and end users. So the people who buy the robots and people who develop the robots. And this is a scalable platform. This can, that means that it can be applied to any robot doing any task. Oh, any robot doing any task. Um, so I'm curious, what really inspired you to build RideScan? And is there a story behind it was born? It's birth, I should say. Yes. So um, like a few years ago, I was doing my PhD in AI robotics and um, there was one experiment that I was conducting is like training an AI model to integrate into the robot and the robot needs to autonomously pick a box uh, based on the training of the AI and then it needs to grab the box and uh, put somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And it was able to do that repeatedly, but there was an incident in which instead of picking the box, the robot dog with an arm, it just uh, picked a table. So that means, uh, and I was observing it, that's why I was able to stop it. So what happens if it's being not being observed by anyone, right? So how do we ensure that uh, these kind of mistakes will not happen um, in the real world? And this happened in like early um, 2022. And a real world incident happened in November 2023 in South Korea, where a human was crushed to death 
mm. by a robot because it mistakenly thought a uh, human as a box of peppers mm. so um this motivated me that this is happening in the real world as well so we need to have a system independently monitoring the autonomous robots doing the tasks to ensure that they are safe and reliable and uh, um when it is deployed in the public spaces yeah really a fascinating story behind how it was born that you had sort of the foresight and then a year later to see it happen in real life um this this tragic incident so the work you're doing clearly is very important um i understand that you have an advisor to the company named michael baum now why do you believe he is a great fit and how do you see him contributing to the company's success and who is he yeah so michael baum is the uh founder of uh, splunk splunk is a reliability software uh for software and he have been building that company from 2005 and then he recently um exited the company at 28 billion dollars mm. and he started a foundation called yo and um right scan was selected as a uh, one of the 10 companies across um 1000 companies um looked at from europe and us uh for the specific accelerator this year so he is advising those 10 companies and right scan is one of the uh, select companies to be getting the direct advice from him for the next uh one year and beyond and all um the the direct advice in a sense i could see the similarity of right scan and splunk basically splunk or basically right scan is like a splunk for robotics ah okay so, okay so it sounds like a very strategic voice that you need as well that will be incredibly helpful moving forward yes yes exactly yes so let's talk about scalability finally here and sort of what are your plans for right scan yeah like the long term goal is very simple to have the right scan sticker on all the robots around the world um but to start with we are focusing on high risk high impact sectors like the nuclear mining and healthcare where a small mistake by the robot can disrupt industries okay So you mentioned healthcare that's very interesting and 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 one thing I just want to ask you you know is is the fact that Humanoid Global uh invested in your company that must have been very exciting uh to to sort of have this partnership yes Yes indeed there is a lot of mutual synergies that uh, that I think there is in this uh collaboration especially as they expand their ecosystem or investments into multiple robot big companies as well as other infrastructures um there's a cross collaboration in that regard as well and you know really to dovetail on that shahab i would ask you the first software investment really highlights how critical safety is for humanoid global i mean you know his example was was really paramount so how does this focus align with your overall strategy would you say yeah i think you know as a first software investment uh being ride scan i i see this as a pivotal step that truly underscores our commitment to safety as a foundational enabler in the humanoid robotic ecosystem and so what ride scan's built is ultimately a ai platform that has the ability to address reliability efficiency public trust reduce downtime detect undetected failures uh and and really optimize performance in in real time and so what we're looking to do at Humanoid Global is deploy capital across the Humanoid Valley chain and so that includes hardware software enablers and really prioritizing safety to mitigate risk that could hinder widespread uh robotics kind of uh issues integrations regulatory hurdles um societal acceptance uh, all of that so the mission is really to try and solve the global um issues that we're seeing from uh, regulatory perspectives the labor to automation and trustworthy solutions and we kind of see ourselves as a, as a providing a significant value uh, investor to this nascent industry that's growing rapidly sure and you know i would ask you shahab when you thought okay i think this is a really good company to to invest in um what 
What's the story behind that? You know, when you realized that RideScan was was uh, very important for your mission in advancing what it is you're trying to do. Yeah, I think RideScan really, you know, amplifies the visibility in the robotic sector. Mm. And we're here to support the execution of the pilot deployments, validate and refine the, the business model in a real world application and truly be side by side um, with the company and with Michael uh, and, and everybody else involved in, in helping this company scale. It is it is called truly, you know, at the pinnacle of what is going to be required in the future, as well as more regulation and more eyes uh, come onto the sector. Yeah, at the pinnacle of, uh, you know, what is to come. And uh, it's very, very fascinating to me, the work that you're doing, the work that you're doing, doctor. Um, so so I would ask you, uh, you know, three short statements. What makes Humanoid Global right now a compelling investment for those uh, that may be just learning about the company, learning about this partnership, your investment, um, and, and where the future lies uh, in their portfolio? Yeah, no, great question. I would say Humanoid Global offers a very unique exposure to the $60 trillion humanoid robotics market as one of the first publicly listed issuers focused on this high growth sector. Our diversified investment approach across hardware, software, and, and these enablers really combines an active management and positions uh, us to capitalize on one, the AI driven innovations, uh, the efficiency gains, uh, productivity and labor shortages that are occurring with experienced leadership and strategic investments like RideScan, uh, emphasizing safety and uh, helping kind of provide the downside production and upside potential in this emerging paradigm of, uh, you know, automation and, and robotics that is occurring. So did you say 60 trillion dollar market? Yes. That's, I think it's like ding, ding, ding goes off for me. So, you know, how important is that knowing that this is the way of the future? Very important. I mean, you have your primary market, secondary markets, there is significant, um, call it tentacles that can expand into multiple different sectors, multiple different markets, geographies that can have a significant effect uh, and impact uh, within the humanoid robotics as things start to grow out. You know, we have uh, special use robotic arms, we have humanoid robotics, we have all the enablers in this. So uh, the market just, you know, it just expands significantly as you look at it and drill down into it. Yeah, certainly does. Thank you so much for that. And Dr. Nanda Kumar, do you have any final thoughts for this interview? Um, yeah, thank you for this time. I think um, we are in the just the earliest beginnings of right scan and uh, um, any potential opportunities to expand this idea uh, and implement this technology to more um, robotic systems are always welcome at right scan. Absolutely. Well, that is all for this edition of Stocks to Watch featuring Humanoid Global Holdings Corp. Again, listed on the Canadian Securities Exchange as ROBO. The OTC is RBOHF and the Frankfurt Exchange as 0XM1. And its first software investment, RideScan. A big thank you to both of you for joining us today and sharing your vision for the future of robotics and safety. Thanks again. Thank you, Ashley, for having us. It was lovely. Thank you. Thank you.